I like shirt. I like it. All right, good. Good. All right, y'all tell me when. You guys all set? Yeah. Okay, uh, we just completed our first uh, scrimmage uh, of spring, uh, about 81 plays. We worked uh, with two groups, uh, held Bowser out. Johnny Richardson got a little bit of work. Uh, it, you know, we were very basic. It was probably 70 30 run pass. We just wanted to see who could block, who could hold on the ball, who could tackle, who could get the ball. Um, defensively, uh, there was two interceptions. Uh, Brandon uh, Adams had a had a interception for a touchdown. Brown had a really, really good interception too. Uh, we did some special teams work, and we really focused on punt protection. You know, we had a punt uh, block for a touchdown last year that probably cost us the game. So. We wanted to make sure and spend time this spring on that. So far, so good. Uh, did a little field, field goal work within the scrimmage, uh, not live, but uh, you know, our guys got a chance to show what they could do with that. But overall, uh, no major injuries, which is always a good deal when you put the ball down, but just first scrimmage. Overall, it gave us some really good information, got everybody a, a chance to, to show what they could do. Questions? Because for a first scrimmage, uh, did either side and one of the other side have the advantage today, offensive or defense? You know, I think offense started out in the first half. I think they scored two or three times and had some explosive plays, was able to run the football in the second half. It was probably more uh, the defense went and, and uh, you know, did a really good job, had, had some three and outs and, uh, you know, got off the field. So, uh, you know, I think it was really good on both sides. You said you mentioned focus on running the ball in the scrimmage. You wanted to see who could block. But how did that blocking go? Yeah, I mean that just big picture and looking at everything, trying to call plays and administrate. You know, overall, I thought it was uh, solid. Um, it gave us a chance to see who could tackle. And you know, the first time at scrimmage from a defensive standpoint, you know, that we've been quick whistling and bump tempo and all that. There's nothing like getting a chance to really bring somebody down. So. You know, our tackling, I know Coach T. Will will we'll keep working on that. You know, we were re really good at tackling last year. I feel like we'll be the same. But first scrimmage is all, also a, a learning experience, and it gives a chance to see some of the young guys, maybe they didn't play as much, to see if uh, see where they're at. It's hard to kind of single out any one guy defensively, really even offensively. But, you know, there was some explosive runs in the run game, uh, especially early in the scrimmage. I know uh, when you begin spring, you usually start with an initial depth chart, guys who return or whatnot. Yeah. Is today a day where you start to you know analyze it, maybe move a guy up or down? Yeah, I think I think in the spring, it's it's who wants the opportunities, you know. So you give them three, you operate in three groups starting out spring, then you narrow it down to two, um, and then guys get a chance to prove yourself. And spring's always a good opportunity too. You may have a guy that's working with the twos, had a good scrimmage, and a chance to work with the ones. A lot of times, uh, you know, people respond differently when they're with the ones. And so really hoping off the film, some of the guys really, you know, showed that uh, they deserve a chance. So that's really, you know, what I'm hoping for after watching the film. Coach, uh, how have you seen Mikey Keene grow and develop a bit since the Gasper Bowl? Yeah, Mikey, you know, he's a veteran guy. You know, he got a chance to, to start, what, nine games, won a big bowl game. So he kind of knows what it feels like. Uh, you know, he's very comfortable um, with the things we're doing, you can see. And, um, you know, he's helped the other quarterbacks too. You mentioned Brandon Adams had a pick six against yeah. scrimmage. He was a freshman that made some starts last year. How has he developed? Yeah, I've been real pleased with him. Uh, you know, last year, being a f true freshman, he gave some quality snaps and did a really good job. And, you know, now he's a veteran guy. He's no longer a freshman. I think it was a third down and kind of long, third and nine, third and ten. He made a good, good pick and he returned it to the, the house. So it was a, a really good uh, explosive defensive play. When you see Isaiah Bowser was held out, was that part of talking about treating yeah. him like a pro? And you got it. it. Yeah. You got it. You know, uh, and he chose to come back. Uh, he won't get tackled this spring. And uh, we're going to be very smart with him. Now, he's doing a whole lot of the bump tempo stuff. And, uh, you know, he's improved, you can tell. And it's all about him staying healthy, like we talked about. But he's had a great spring. Johnny Richardson's a guy, too, that. Uh, Gave him a few carries, very explosive runs. I'd say he's better than he was last year too at this point. And so Johnny's a lot more confident. Like uh, you know, this time last year he was kind of feeling himself through and all that. Now he's a really confident running back. And uh, Coach Harris gave all his other guys a chance. You know, Mark Anthony got a lot of carries. Anthony Williams got a lot of carries. Uh, our true freshman got a lot of carries. So it was it was good to see those guys. And 
I think for the most part, I can't remember a ball on the ground. So you know, we were really good at protecting the ball from a running back standpoint last year. So you know that's continued so far. Players have mentioned that they like what they see from the offensive line. I see your shirt there. What do yep. you like about having Sam Jackson? Yeah. What it brings to your offensive yeah, line? Yes, so, you know Sam Jackson, another guy that uh, chose to come back and. He got limited reps. I mean, we, we had him at left tackle. He also played a little bit of center, which, you know, he's capable of playing all five positions. But, you know, he played the first part of the scrimmage and not the second, and that was by design too. But, uh, you know, the good thing that Coach Han has right now is I can tell you right now we're going to have quality depth, and that's really important. Right now he's trying to mix and match, give our guys opportunities, not just to play different positions, but to play with different groups. And uh, so really hoping by the end of spring, we kind of have things sorted out. Um, but the good thing is, you know, we got some, we got a lot of guys that can play. Is Coach Han, is, is he a guy that typically likes to roll with the same five if he can, or if he feels like he has quality depth, he can, he can rotate? With yeah, he, you know, you'd like the same five working together. But at the same time, if you got quality depth, you can play different guys. You know, we've always kind of went into each season. If we got three tackles, three guards, and two centers, you got a real chance. So, you know, we're, we're trying to develop that here this spring. The kicking, how was Daniel Barsley coming along and what were the, what were the distances? For the yeah, yeah, Daniel, uh, you know, I think, uh, I, I can't remember. I think we had two field goals during the, uh, the scrimmage. I mean, he's done a solid job. You can tell he's a more confident guy. That ball game did wonders. He helped us win the game. And the year before, he had a tough go of it, you know. And, and so, you know, he's a real confident guy, our new, our, our freshman boomer. I mean, he's challenging him now. I mean, he's, he's putting some pressure. So there's some really good competition uh, with those two guys. Uh, you know, Daniel got a chance after practice. Uh, I think we put the ball 45 yards and got everybody up. And if he misses, everybody gets 10, and co including coaches. And uh, a little pressure with that, he made it. You know, and so we'll give Boomer a chance next time we scrimmage, and we'll check his oil and see what he's about to. Coach, you said uh, two groups. Did uh, all the quarterbacks play within those two groups? And if so, what's your assessment? Yeah, yeah. Mikey and John Rice uh, primarily uh, rotated with the ones and also did some some twos. Thomas got a chance uh, really in the second half of the scrimmage uh, to work with the ones and the twos. Um, Parker also got a chance at the end to work with the twos, and I think he may have got one with a one too. But we let uh, we let Thomas and Parker go live, and uh, you know that was good, and uh, give them guys a chance to show what they can do and play play real football. We may let the other two go live before the end of the spring. You know we'll we'll see we'll see where we're at. I know John Rice hadn't been a full-time quarterback prior to coming here this spring for the last 18 months. So how's he kind of jumped in and adapted to being a quarterback? Yeah, yet? yeah, I think so. I mean, you, you know, you, first of all, he's really talented, all right. And then sometimes you can see he hadn't played quarterback in a year, so it takes it a little bit. But he's really desperate to be good. He's desperate to to be good at the little thing. He sticks around after practice, working on the little things. Of course, you know, Mikey does too. And um, you know, it's good to have those quarterbacks that. You know, are desperate to be the best they can be. Coach, I wanted to ask you about uh, Kalia Davis, who was we drafted this uh, April. Uh, what do you have to say about him, just as a player and a person? Uh, he's a impact player. Um, I mean, he's uh, he got a chance to play at the next level for a long time. Uh, you know, he's very explosive. He plays the run well. He's got unbelievable instincts. Uh, pass rushing. I mean, he's a great pass rusher, especially on one, on the, the man side. Um, he's got great instincts. I can't say enough good things about him. You can tell that you know he was a linebacker in high school, and now he puts his hand down. He's got instincts. He's very quick, and uh, he's explosive as all get out. So he'll play a long time. You've got three receivers with significant experience. Obviously, no key flash. You could be Hudson last year at Auburn. Is there a fourth guy that's? Maybe Start to emerge, that, you know. Maybe yeah, Gr it. Griffin. Griffin's had a good spring. I mean, he, he's he's act, he acts like he's a starter. I mean, he's different, and uh, so I've been real proud of him. Uh, Jordan is a guy we're given a an opportunity to show what he can do. Omari Johnson the same way. You know, and O'Keefe, we're treating him real similar too now. I mean, you know, he had played a lot of snaps last year. Uh, Gatewood, Joey's a guy that we moved to receiver last week, and he's got a real chance. And, you know, so I'm excited to see his development, um, you know, with that. And so, you know, the, the good thing is uh, we got a lot of different guys to, you know, to give us some depth.
When uh, you look back at the injuries of the previous season, has it changed your approach to strength and conditioning in this season? No, you know, most of the guys that got hurt either got here really late, okay, or had some pre-existing things, you know, to go. So, uh, you know, I feel great about, you know, what we're doing, strength and conditioning. And you can tell, like, uh, we, we looked the part. We looked different than we did last year at this time. And, um, you know, you can we passed the eye test. That's probably the best way to put it. Uh, but now I feel really good about our, our speed and development. Obviously, Terry Gate would be, would be a really big target at receiver. What's the learning curve, you know, going from quarterback to receiver, and how are his hands? Yeah, oh, he's got great hands, he's got unbelievable hands. Uh, you know, in, in high school, you know, he played half quarterback and half receiver and kick returner, and he was just a dynamic player. So, but it's college football. It takes a while. Where to get lined up? Hey, what's the coverage? Hey, what do I adjust? Who do I block? Where do I mean? There's a lot of little things, but the good thing is play quarterback, so he understands how things work together. So you know it won't be that that bad of a, a learning curve for him. He's already stood out and done some really good things. How does this spring camp feel different to you than your first year? Oh, just because we didn't know our players and our coaches were getting used to each other. And, uh, now it's completely different. You know, it's, so we got a really good understanding of our core guys, what they can and can't do to work on specific things to help them, and. Um, you know, and the staff has been together all, you know, and we've done a good job with the two guys that we brought in. Uh, they've done a super job meshing with our staff. And you see that from your returning players as well, oh, more yeah. buy-in and yeah. more understanding. Yeah, and I mean, they're starting to be the leaders, you know. The, the standard, you know, the, the players are the ones setting the standard. The coaches, I don't hear them near as much about trying to, you know, motivate somebody to effort-wise or standard, it's more the players. And that gives you a chance. When you get that, you got a chance. So that's that's one of the things I'm most excited about. Good chance during the halfway point of everything. What's kind of the schedule looking like? Are you working towards another scrimmage on Saturday? Or yeah, are you kind of we'll, that we'll do something Saturday in the stadium. Okay, we're gonna kind of see where we're at with everything. Uh, so we will do some type of practice. Uh, it won't be full fledged scrimmage. Uh, we'll probably hold those for the last two Saturdays, but uh, we will do something to get better. Last time you wore Isaiah Bowser today wearing Sam Jackson, how many more shirts are you going to Hey, this as many guys we have, you know, it's what we'll do. And uh, those two guys uh, are two of the better football players we got. And uh, just really excited uh, to wear their, their shirts. And uh, so we'll see who else has one. How has uh, Coach Lindsey moved into your, your coaching staff and yeah. players? Well, he already knew most of our staff already. Uh, he's worked with me through this is a third different place. so. He, he's so good with quarterbacks and you know, relationships and uh, just the whole offense. I've been gone a lot, you know, up to this, you know, with the spring with some different off the field things. And, you know, he hadn't, our offense hadn't missed a lick and uh, he's done a super job. Thanks. Appreciate right. it. Thank Thank you. You.